Everyone, did you subscribe yet? Did you do it? No? Okay, whatever. All right, so today, I made a short. I didn't know if I was going to upload today, but here I am uploading. Wait, I'm not going to move. I received enough feedback. I think like 70% of my, my comments on my channel are, stop moving, Alex. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to, okay? All right, so today, I've been seeing a lot of videos, and sure, maybe I'm hopping on the, the trend of the day, but... <laughs> It seems like a lot of people have problems with collector booster boxes, which I have talked about before. Um, I really do think they've gone too far uh, since the uh, Project Booster Fun um, sort of experiment. I guess it's not an experiment, it's just the way they went. Um, you know, trying to make something that was, I guess, for everyone, which seems in theory to be, you know, a good idea. You know, something that speaks to every every player in the in the fan base but it's kind of turned into something I, I don't know I don't want to call it completely negative because I think there are some good things to it you know what I mean like with all these variants and everything like that like apparently um, outlaws at Thunder Junction is going to have five variants in their collector boxes five I don't think yeah I mean I don't think we've seen that since well ever I think that's the most um, it just seems like they're trying to appeal to some sort of player that doesn't exist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it kind of, I mean, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to even formulate thoughts because in my head it makes so much sense. So I'm obviously very biased and, and I don't think it's a good thing, but let me know in the comments below just before we get into this what you think and, and if you think like having these variants is a good thing and like these serialized cards and everything like that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in your opinion. That's honestly mainly the reason I'm making this video is, is just to see what everybody else thinks because to me it just seems like a bit much, right? I've, I don't think I need to go on and on saying it, but I miss the old days of the draft booster. <clears throat> you know, your one foil rare, if it was great, Great box, you know, occasional foil mythic. Um, yeah, and and now it's just like, you could get like 10 mythics, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, a little, uh, little um, something caught my throat. But, uh, you know, 10 mythics, you know, a million rares, foil rares, everything's foil, and still somehow you end up with like $40 worth of value in a, <laughs> in, in a $200 box, which... It just doesn't seem like sustainable at all. Um, but I guess it goes back to that conversation I had at my LGS. It's apparently people are just buying this product because it's the new thing and 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 they don't care so much about what's in the box. They just buy it because, well, it's the next wizard set and and it just it seems very disappointing because i what what happens when all the cards that are that are worth something are are now in like that 5 10 dollar range and there's nothing that's truly worthwhile or there's no um you know big hits that matter in boxes and then eventually what happens then well sealed you know sealed product doesn't get bought sealed product doesn't get bought then you know LGSs aren't going to re-up their orders with distributors. Distributors aren't going to order any more magic. I mean, like, and then what happens at that point? It just, it, it seems like a very slippery slope. And I don't know if it's being handled properly. Now, mind you, I've never, you know, ran a big company like that. But it seems like, and I mentioned this in my short earlier, I, I see it's gotten a, a couple of views if you've seen it, you know. That's, that's great. I, I'm glad it got to you. But it seems like magic is sort of inching its way into the sports card space. Now, some of you, if, if you're not too familiar with, with sports cards, I actually am very familiar with sports cards. It's uh, something I, I, you know, I, I'm in the hobby with my dad and my grandpa, and, and you know, it's, it's a fun little thing, you know, to, to crack some baseball packs and... and things like that, but I know that's not what, you know, most players in Magic, um, 
do. You know, I, I know I know that sports cards isn't really a, a thing for them. So the serial art, the, sorry, the serialized card um, I think scares me a little bit because I think I think Wizards is going to see how expensive some of these are selling for, especially like Carlock Manor, where you know I mean some of these are so hard to pull. I, I've seen some listed upwards of two thousand dollars for cards that people like really aren't even playing with outside of Commander, which I I guess if I mean if you could get that dollar amount for it, that's a good thing. But how long is that going to last? And then how long before? you know, out of 250s, you know, or 500s, how long before those get, like, you know, people get bored of that, and then they have to throw in other variants, like, to 10, or, you know, more one-of-ones, or, you know, and then you have to throw in, like, a million different parallels, if you're familiar with the, the parallels. Um, essentially, if you're not familiar, a parallel is, like, you'll have, like, a base version of card, then foil, and, you know, and, and then all these different types, and they call those parallels, essentially. Um, yeah, so it seems like it's a very slippery slope, and if you look at the sports card market, that entered a really big, I, I hate saying the word bubble, but to see what, you know, I know we're gonna, I know we're gonna, I'm gonna, sorry, if, if you're still at this video, I'm gonna kinda mention a few cards, and I'm gonna mention a few players, and I think, I think it's necessary because, well, there's been some really, really bad losses in the in the sports card space. So, Mac Jones, uh, old quarterback for the Patriots, just got traded to the Jaguars. Um, his base uh, PSA 10 hollow, so like, you know, the step above the base version. Somebody got it graded at 10, and somebody bought it for $3,000. Mind you, in that same set, there's about 20 other different variants that are actually serialized that have, you know, value, everything like that. And the the step above the base sold for three grand. Well, since and that happened in around COVID, around 2021, well, Mac Jones got traded. He hasn't been doing as well. And now that card, I think, sold for eleven ninety nine online. So, uh, I mean, what's that? A 99.8% loss, something crazy like that. And I don't think Magic's going to go down that route <clears throat> because to be honest with you, there's there's a lot there's a lot of other factors in the sports card space. Like, you know, if the player's good, right? Mac Jones obviously uh, uh, well, maybe not obviously to some, but he's not good. Uh, he did get traded. He's going to be a backup and, you know, his cards are going to be worthless for a while <clears throat> unless he makes a comeback. But Back to magic. My point is, these serialized cards, is it just, you know, is it just the for now thing? You know, it seems like, it seems like every, you know, year or so, they come out with some new thing that you need to chase, and it just, like, evolves into just craziness. And... It seems like a very slippery slope, and it, and it just seems like right now with how the market is kind of handling itself, it, it seems like money's in in new magic. Um, if anybody saw Rudy's video yesterday, he's he's, I don't want to say concerned with like the the reserve list, but he said you know money's not really in it at the moment, which it doesn't seem like it is, but. I don't know too much about the reserve list. I do want to familiarize myself with it, though, so maybe some videos to come on that. But it just... It seems like magic right now is in some sort of ether, or it just seems very... You just don't know where it is and, like, where people's opinion on it is and... and there was something that from that conversation I had with that LGS uh, worker the other day um, but that I forgot to mention and, and it seemed like the biggest thing of of the conversation to be honest with you he said magic the players at their shop are their attitude towards magic is what have you done for me lately which seems odd and, and but so true and um in like the landscape right now it's like 
every I, I mean you start to see people even moving on from Fallout it just it just came out it just came out and now people are somebody let out some Thunder Junction leaks which I'm sure I'll talk about you know tomorrow or the next day and now everybody's like oh on to the next thing it it's so exhausting it's so exhausting to to be part of this hobby sometimes i'm not even gonna lie you know this seem this is you know one of the few negative videos i do but it's it's just an interesting you know, it's an interesting time, so um, I guess I'll leave it there. But uh, if you guys have any opinions on the matter, um, sorry we kind of went into like a different hobby, talked about sports cards for a minute. But um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, hit me up in the comments, like, dislike, any engagement matters. You know, subscribe if you'd like. I don't know. Have fun. Live your life.